You have a good time in there? Yeah. You get that autograph in there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And how'd they sign it? To Uncle Tom? Yeah. Go to him, man. The next LeBron. A lot of people come to see you, Ty? They come to see the game. I don't know they come to see me. People from around here come to see the game. People from all over come to see him. No doubt. Cinnamon! Snitch! What the hell happened to you, Snitch? Tyrone! Tyrone! I thought I told you to quit hanging around that fool. I ain't been hanging around him. Who are you calling a fool? I'm calling you a fool. What you doing slapping him around like that? Brother been working for me about six weeks. You know the rules when you start slinging? You gotta pay the price. How you think he got those designer threads and those Tims he's wearing? Damn, snitch. I'm up here working my ass off, and you around here acting like a thug. That's right, a thug and a thief. Brother stole an ounce off of me. I didn't, I got hit, and that's on the ring. The first question I wanna ask you is, um, this is probably one of the most distinct and unique characters I've ever seen you portray on film. Uh, when you first accepted the part of Willie, all the way to the last day of shooting when Tim, you know, cut, yeah. did he turn out exactly the way you had first imagined him? Pretty much, pretty much. I mean, the, I was talking about this earlier, the idea is that, you know, you, you have this, this image of the character. I got a little job. Yeah. The Professor. And one, season two, do whatever. I know you ain't really trying to come over here with them kind of moves. You think that really works? And I knew you wasn't six foot like my man was telling me. That's that TV stuff, man. It's the real world. Man, you been missing shots and all that? Man, you're not even all that nice. Oh, so you can try to ignore me, huh? That's okay. See, little skill recognized, real skill. <laughs> you a little <laughs> dude. Yo, Professor, man. Yo, yo, yo. And I was telling my man they kept you on there because you a white boy and they just trying to get the extra viewers. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. In many of life's activities, we depend on equations and formulas. For instance, if you were baking cookies and wanted to make the next batch chewier, you'd change the amount of one ingredient. But changing the amount of one ingredient or variable affects the whole recipe. Have you ever thought about getting a record deal? I know I have. So we took Club Teen Scene's camera crew to Treacherous Records and had to sit down with their CEO, Tico. And we also sat down with a well-known rapper that goes by the name of Crooked Eyes. Anyways, we're gonna send you guys to the tape. And while you guys are going at the tape, I'm gonna pick up this phone and see who it is, because somebody's vibing. Hello? Uh, Hill Collector? Um... Wrong, wrong, wrong number, wrong number. All right, all right. Let's go to that tape.